to the fellas out there, please be careful of these females because they pull stunts like this, falsely accused of men aiding dudes. So let's play the video and I'll give my commentary on this. Sedona, um, I popped in because you seem very tired, like an extra in Friday, like like Big Smokey. A woman who accused former Dodger Trevor Bauer of sexual assault has now been indicted. A woman who accused former Dodgers pitcher Trevor Bauer of sexual assault has been charged with fraud in Arizona. A grand jury indictment unsealed Monday accuses Darcy Adana Esmonu of fraud and theft by extortion against Bauer and another man. Esmonu sued Bauer, saying he raped her and got her pregnant in 2020. Bauer says she demanded money to terminate the pregnancy, but later said she had a miscarriage. Bauer posted video on YouTube, responding to the indictment and addressing allegations at large for the first time in months. Here's the thing, she never had an abortion because she was never even pregnant. And that's corroborated by her own medical records. When I refused to pay her the $3.6 million she was asking for, she made up a bogus sexual assault claim and filed a civil suit against me. In the countersuit, Bauer's lawyers claim she took the money for the abortion and went to Philadelphia to get LASIK eye surgery. There are women that will try and ensnare you and extort you for money. And if they uh, come out with these claims and they smear your reputation, they can destroy your career. We tried reaching out to Asmonu and her legal team, but were unsuccessful. Her next court date is next week, and she could face more than 16 years if convicted on both charges. Darcy Donna Asmonu has been criminally indicted for committing felony fraud against me and another man. So now she's facing up to 16 years in prison. We had one plain sexual encounter in December of 2020. Nothing that could be considered remotely rough. She initiated it, but don't take my word for it, take hers. There's a picture and text message she sent me the next morning explaining why she came on to me. And for months afterwards, she repeatedly requested to sleep with me again. Uh, for example, this text from January 7th, 2021. At one point, she even requested a sample of my sperm so she could have my child whenever she wanted to in the future. Now, it's hard to keep track, but she's made at least four seven-figure demands over the last few years. Uh, more than a year after the one time we slept together, Adana retained a lawyer. She then demanded $3.6 million and claimed I forced her to have an abortion, leaving her emotionally devastated and irretrievably damaged by it. But uh, here's the thing, she never had an abortion because she was never even pregnant, and that's corroborated by her own medical records. Uh, when I refused to pay her the $3.6 million she was asking for, she made up a bogus sexual assault claim and filed a civil suit against me. In that version of her story, she claimed for the first time, by the way, uh, that there was non-consensual sex, but her texts from the next morning show what actually happened. Remember this text in which she explains why she came on to me? She also claims that instead of an abortion, she actually had a miscarriage, but that's impossible, of course, because again, she was never even pregnant. Uh, we now have emails between her and the first two law firms that dropped her, in which they acknowledge they never had any evidence to support her claims, but they'll try to get my money anyway. I then shared an audio recording I have in which Adana contradicts her own claims and asks me for money. In the emails, her lawyers agreed that that's insurmountable evidence from Adana that they can no longer represent her unless she can provide documentation or proof of her claims. And of course, she couldn't do that, so the law firm urged her to consult other law firms with different standards. Now, Adana has filed more than 10 police reports claiming sexual assault or harassment against other men, including at least one other professional athlete. But after the Scottsdale police completed their investigation into her claim against me, she's the one being indicted for felony fraud. And not just against me, against another man as well. Now, she made up bogus sexual assault claims and attempted to extort him too. It gets worse. In my lawsuit against her, we subpoenaed a witness whom she knew for relevant documents to use in our case. And when she found out, she immediately made sexual assault claims against him, too. Uh, her MO is clear. Lie to men to get their money, extort them if she must, and when they refuse to pay, stop paying or stop giving her what she wants, go to the police, accuse them of sexual assault, and file a civil suit against them to retaliate. I think she would be somebody that probably could be my A1A if I were to run my business and include her in it. And, um, um what, what, what's partner. the cut? If you my partner, a partner. See, fellas, you just gotta be careful out there because you got females out here who extort men for money and etc. So, this is all to say about this. So, tell me your thoughts about the video. Like, share, subscribe, and comment. And I'm out. Peace. 
and I'll catch y'all next video, next live stream.